Uh, my name is Michael Nash, and um, I'm the writer, director, producer of Climate Refugees. Climate change is on a complete collision course right now with civilization as we know it. We've had lots of civilizations collapse in the past from environmental causes. I'm certain climate change has occurred. Our responses at the moment are inadequate in terms of coping with these newly displaced people. These are really the human faces of climate change. I would say the number one thing that inspired me was I read an article written by the United Nations University that said there were more environmental refugees in the world than there were refugees from political or religious persecution. And um, I had a really difficult time swallowing that statement. I mean, what does that statement mean? So I started digging into it, and that really is what catapulted you know, me on this three-year journey around the world. A lot of this was investigative journalism. We really did not know where we were going a lot of times until we spoke to people. But as, once we started on this journey, um, you know, we traveled to um, we traveled to China, we traveled to Africa, we you know, um, Bangladesh, Tuvalu, the Arctic Circle, um, anywhere and everywhere that we thought people might be challenged by um, this intersection that we are trying to document. You know, we're overpopulation, overconsumption, lack of resources, and a changing climate um, seem to all be colliding with each other for the first time. And this collision is causing, you know, um, folks, environmental climate refugees, to actually have to pick up their stuff and, you know, move to places where they can survive. When we started out doing this film, we realized that if we were going to travel around the world and we were going to create this giant carbon footprint, um, you know, people would question why. So one of the first production um, notes that we had was we were going to, and this kind of gets back to your other question too, we were going to, um, you know, we would not fly a crew around the world. In fact, a lot of these places I went myself, in the big logistical places, um, me and my uh, producer actually went and it created logistical um, issues that actually helped the film in the long run so instead of bringing a crew to you know Bangladesh we actually hired local people there um, to help us you know find these stories and interview these people and shoot this stuff and do the sound work and um, and in doing that you know we went down paths that maybe some other folks, you know, in the media had not gone down yet. Yeah, it's, you know, unfortunately in America this issue has become so political. Um, and, I, you know, one of the interesting things as we traveled around the world, it's really not like that in most places around the world. I think England, you know, it's, it's somewhat political, but clearly in America this, you know, this issue has become political. And um, I wanted to make a film that allowed both sides to speak. Um, the only way that we're going to get past this is to bring both sides of the political um, spectrum, you know, to a conversation. Because right now it's, you know, it's like the Sooners and, you know, and the Longhorns. I mean, they don't even want to talk to each other on this issue. As we go on this college tour, and um, you know, the State Department has asked us to screen this in embassies around the world, and you know, I, I'm really trying to hold a call to action to um, students and to faculty that you know we vote with our dollar in some way. I mean, we can control you know what corporations decide to make next year, but you got to become politically involved. You know, you got to hold your politicians accountable for all of this, um, and until we do that. You know, it's going to be business as usual. Our first screening was in the Capitol building in D.C. Um, for a lot of, you know, um, senators and congresspeople and 
And it was interesting because afterwards there was a, a, an event. It was actually in what they called the Impact Foundation um, screening forum. And, you know, a lot of Republicans um, came up to me and they said, you know, this actually, this film makes a lot of sense. Um, but you have Al Gore in there for 45 seconds and I would change the channel. And I was like, really, why? And they're like, I just would, you know, I don't buy what he's saying. And they're like, you don't need him in your film. Um, and as a filmmaker, and there were other moments in there that, you know, the, the conservatives thought um, would hurt the film trying to bring the conservatives into this story. And that's really, you know, one of my goals in this film was to help bring them to the table on this. Um, and I actually changed parts of the film um, to fit better with, you know, um, what they thought would be or would, would make the film better. Um, and I did the same thing on the other side, too. So it was, you know, we tested this film a lot to really try and get it to the point where, um, you know, it possibly could be, um, you know, a mend to something that has just become a food fight. 